Dear brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Praise the Lord is the time to read Bible. This continues on Genesis 40. Today we will go through verse 16 to 19. The chief butler told Joseph his dream and he in interpreted the dream as a good sign that within three days he will be restored to his position. Also, he will put Pharaoh's cup in his hand, just as he used to do when he was his chief butler. Verse 16, when the chief baker saw that Joseph had given a favorable interpretation, he said to Joseph, The Bible simply recorded it, but it seems like telling us the chief baker was afraid to tell Joseph his dream at first. However, when he saw that Joseph gave a favorable interpretation, he also told Joseph his dream. The Bible did not tell us why the chief butler and the chief baker had been put in dungeon. Maybe the chief baker felt guilty, so he was afraid of interpretation at first. We won't guess his purpose here because the Bible did not tell us. However, the chief baker had a confusion here. He saw Joseph had given a favorable interpretation to the chief butler. And both of them had the same situation, being put in dungeon. So if the chief butler have a good ending, he will have a good ending as well. But it is not a right mindset. Actually, the length of our days and where do we live, the Lord had predestinated already. He controls everything. We need to understand God's will on us and how He planned for our lives. Do everything we need to do, take our responsibilities on the journey that the Lord had predestined for us. Understand His will and the co-work with Him. Because the chief baker had the wrong mindset that brought him the incorrect expectation. He expected he might have a favorable interpretation like the chief butler had. So he said to Joseph, I too had a dream. On my head were three baskets of bread. Verse 17, in the top basket were all kinds of Backed goods for Pharaoh, but the birds were eating them out of the basket on my head. Even though both of them were in the same situation, their dreams were not were not represented the same condition. However, both of their dreams were related to their jobs. The chief butler's dream was according to what he used to do for Pharaoh when he was his butler. In addition, in the beginning of the chief baker's dream was according to what he used to do what what he used to do. On his head were three baskets of bread. Basket had been used as a container for carrying food from place to place and the people used to put and the people used to put the basket on their heads. In the top basket were all kinds of bad goods for Pharaoh. However, the birds were eating them out of the basket because the chief baker did not cover the top basket. Baking is a tough process. First Wheat need to be ground into flour and use the flour to make dough, then baking with heat into pastry. A long process was needed to get the baked goods. 
so the chief baker should cover the basket to avoid the birds eating them. What does the birds foreshadow? Let's see. Let's see Matthew chapter thirteen. Jesus told us the parable of the sower. A farmer went out to sow his seed. Verse four. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. The seed foreshadows the word of life. The seed should, the the seed should fall on good soil, where it produces a crop and become food to supply the need the needers. But the seed fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Jesus also explained to us in verse nineteen, when everyone hears the message about the kingdom, and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in his heart. This is the seed sown along the path. The birds foreshadow Satan. Sometimes, we receive the word of life from Sunday message or through fellowship with brothers and sisters. The word of life should, like the seed, fall on good soil. Sp- sprout. Rooting and grow in our hearts, hearts, and finally produce a good fruit. However, most of time our hearts have been occupied just like the seed sown along the path. Therefore, the the evil one comes and snatches away the word of life. Let's go back to Genesis forty verse eighteen. This is what it means," Joseph said. "The three baskets are three days." Verse nineteen. Within three days, Pharaoh will leave off your head, and hang you on a tree, and the birds will eat away your flesh. The chief baker received a bad sign, a bad sign, that within three days. Shall Pharaoh lift up the head from off thee, and shall hang thee on a tree, and the birds shall shall eat the flesh from off thee? Therefore, when we receive the word of life, but we are not able to keep it in our hearts. So that the word of life will be taken away by Satan, and after all, our ending will be a tragedy. Let's think about Joseph's dream. Let's think about Joseph's interpretation. The chief baker expected a favorable interpretation, so he told Joseph his dream. However, when Joseph realized his dream was a bad sign, he was brave to tell the chief baker the truth. Dear brothers and sisters, telling the truth is not easy, but it is what we have to do. Dream interpretation is like we speak for the Lord now. When the Lord gave you this service of speaking for Him. We could not say things that please others. Instead, we should say what the Lord wants us to say. Many people might have thought that the chief baker only had three days to live. Why not Joseph telling the truth to him in order to let him have a good three days before he died? However, if we have the idea, the truth will not be revealed. Paul had experienced the same situation, in Second Timothy chapter four verse two, preach the word, be prepared in se- in season and out of season, correct, rebuke, and encourage, 
with great patience and careful instruction. Then Paul understood that there will be troubles at the end time. Verse four, verse three, for the time will come when men will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. In other words, when you are not saying what people want to hear, they will find. They will find other teacher to say. They will find another teacher to say what they want to hear. Verse four, they will turn their eye, their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myth. We need to understand speaking for God is not only provide to the needers, but also bring them to the Lord. Saying something encourage. And the comfort people is necessary, but also the words, the word of rebuke, correct could not be covered. However, nowadays many God's servants only say what people want to hear in the church, due to due to the political interest, financial pressure, or even the social convention. A God's servant is always keep eyes on God, not please people, not suit in this world. Instead, serve the Lord faithfully. Let's go back to Joseph's interpretation. The chief baker only had three days to live, and it was not changeable. If we were Joseph. We might not tell him the truth, like many people won't tell the person in the family, if he or she has cancer. We choose to keep the secret because we know the person only has short period to live, because of cancer. It is kindness, not telling the family member he or she has cancer, since we hope the person could spend the remaining time. Without worrying, but it's not what the Bible teaches us. Hebrew chapter nine verse twenty seven. Just as man is destined to die once, and after that to face judgment, the Bible tells us after death, everyone need to face judgment, and also everyone is des destined to die once. If we pass the judgment, we will have eternal life. Otherwise, otherwise our place will be in the very lake of burning sulfur, sulfur, the second death. Therefore, we need to preach the gospel to the one who is not believer believer yet, that them understand everyone is destined to die once. And after that, to face judgment, only receive the salvation from Jesus Christ, we will be able to pass the judgment, to have the eternal life. However, as a believer, we have another judgment only for believers, the judgment seat of Christ. Therefore, we need to use our remaining time wisely. To deal our only only our debt, repent and confess the sin. Actually, the chief baker was blessed because Joseph let him knew he still had three days to live. He could use his three days wisely to confess his sin and to repent. Our life is on God's hand. We don't know. What will happen tomorrow? So sits the day. Pray the Lord give us grace to recognize our sin, and to repent. Paul also said to us in Second Corinthians chapter six verse two, "In the time of my favor, I hear you, and in the day of salvation, I help you. I tell you now is the time of God's favor." Now is the time 
of salvation. Therefore, seize the day, please. Please the Lord by His will, and to deal with what we own. What we own. Let's pray. O、oh、Lord, thank you for giving us the time in the world. Every day has grace. Let us not wasting every day. Let us hold on the moment of grace. Thank you for telling us now is the time of your favor. Now is the day of your salvation. Let us experience and enjoy your grace. Please bless my daily life. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.